Hello again, this is W1MSG, and uh, I just created an image for those that are using the DV Mega and would like to use DMR and DSTAR. Uh, the very first thing you need to do is go to the DV Mega site and learn how to update your firmware. I believe the current version is 2.29. So, uh, whatever your DV Mega is, a single band, dual band, uh, one that goes on a Nuno board, or one that goes directly on the Pi. You need to go and update to 2.29 firmware on your DV Mega. Otherwise, none of this is going to work. <clears throat> this image is basically set up for the DV Mega. This is what you're going to see. You need to hook up a, a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse to get started. Uh, of course, you're going to have to go over and set up your Wi-Fi, which I've got my Wi-Fi connected already. And that'll get you on the Internet. Then you can VNC into it, whatever the IP address is. Uh, if you just hover over this, it tells you what your IP address is. Mine's 10.0.1.19. Uh, the VNC password is Raspberry uh, for the start. And then you can go in and change it as needed. Um, I do have the DV4 Mini stuff on here. Uh, it will work. Uh, it's not updated. It's uh, older versions. I've got the Ice Weasel Web, which is a web browser that you need to use for updating the MMDVM software, uh, which I will do in a second video. But for right now, I just want to get you going on my uh, on my image. Read the README file. That'll explain a little bit, but the video pretty much explains it all. First thing you want to do is, up, uh, as you can see, the IRC DDB gateway starts up automatically. So if you're using DSTAR, Go in and configure your IRC DDB. Uh, whatever your call sign is, it's going to say no call when you get the image. Uh, all of this is fine. You can leave the uh, latitude and longitude blank, your uh, QTH, whatever you want to put in there. Your repeater one, C if you're using 2 meter, B if you're using uh, 440. Your frequency, uh, you can put your latitude and longitude in here if you care to. Repeater 2 is none, repeater 3 is none, repeater 4 is none. IRC DDB, uh, you can enable that. Uh, use the rropenquad.net and W1MSG, or your call sign actually, with no password. Uh, if you want to enable DPRS, which is the uh, DSTAR APRS type setup, your D extra, your D plus, your call sign again. Uh, leave this alone. CCS and DCS are enabled. Starnet, if you have that, uh, you're more advanced than me. I don't use Starnet, but if you do, you can set that up as well. Your remote, uh, you can enable your remote, put in a password, and whatever uh, port you want to use for your remote, then you can remotely go in and change reflectors and so on and so forth and then miscellaneous you can enable or disable as needed so once that's done you click file save wait a few seconds and then reboot after you reboot it should come up with your information on the IRC DDB gateway next you're going to edit the uh, MMDVM setup so bring up that icon double click it I'm going to stretch this out so you can see a little bit more of it. And just go line by line and make the changes that you need for your system. When this comes up, it's going to have no call here. Uh, everything else I'll leave as is. You can go in and change as needed. Make sure as you're going down through this, uh, right now it's set up for the DV Mega, so the port should be correct. Uh, your TX invert and your RX invert, all of that should work. D-Star is enabled. If you're not using D-Star, uh, change the 1 to a 0. Uh, change your module if you're using uh, 440 or 2 meter, 2 meter being C. Your DMR enable. Put in your ID number. This is going to be all zeros uh, when you open this up. Put your ID number in. System Fusion, uh, 0 for disabling it. Your DSTAR network is all set. It should connect to the IRC DDB gateway. Your DMR network uh, right now is set for the East Brandmeister network. 
Uh, there are several other ones. You can do a search on Google for that and find out which one's closest to you and which one works the best for you. And then go down. Uh, Fusion Network is disabled with a zero right here. And then uh, there's some screens that can be added on for the MMDVM. So once that's all done, do a reboot. Once it reboots, wait 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, the MMDVM host software will start. Once it starts, and you've waited that allotted 60 seconds, you can click on the View My M MMDVM Traffic. Double click that. It'll come up with a uh, screen that will show the traffic that's being handled by your MMDVM. In order to get out of this, hit Control A and then the D key and that will close that window. I'm going to go ahead and do a reboot so you can see what it actually takes. While this is rebooting, the video should give you a pretty good idea what you need to do. It's not very difficult. I'll do a second video on how to update the MMDVM software, uh, the MMDVM host software. Uh, I do it manually. I don't like using automated scripts or anything like that because it tends to uh, create issues. Uh, files can get lost and uh, it just it's, doesn't work for me. I have to do things manually in order to see what's going on and keep track of everything. Okay, so you see the IRC DDB gateway came right up. Uh, it's connecting to the IRC DDB server. It came up with my call sign. See, not, it's not linked to any uh, reflectors, and that's up and running. Now, if you try and look at the traffic before this comes up, it just closes automatically because there's nothing to view. So you'll know after the 60 seconds whether or not uh, it's fired up. And I'll do it again. Still nothing. And there we have it. Now it's showing you that it's it's up and running. All your information should be in here. It's logged into the master successfully. I'll key up my two meter radio and you'll be able to see the traffic. So there it just connected to TAC 310 which is one of the reflectors and that was just me trying to use the scroll button unfortunately you can't scroll with the screen program but as you can see here uh, received RF late entry W1MSG to talk group 310 so now it's connected to talk group 310 and there you have it uh, like I said Control A, then the D key will close that out, and uh, you can always bring it back up with the view icon, and it'll go right back to where it was. So, hopefully, uh, this will get you on the air with the MMDVM host software. Like I said, this is not a beginner's image at all, but uh, it's very easy to get set up if you have a little bit of background on uh, what's going on with the MMDVM and DSTAR. 7-3 for now. W1MSG. Have a great day.